Hello everyone, this is Paul with iDry. We just got a call from Nick Regan of Regan Earthworks uh, in Southern New Hampshire. He says he's found a really cool niche market using the iDry air and drying firewood for the wood burning oven pizza industry. So we're gonna scoot down the road and uh, see what it's all about. See you soon. Hey everybody, we're with uh, Nick Reagan of Reagan Lamb Works and he's talking about his uh, firewood operation here. You can see he's got beautiful cherry. Got some ash. A lot ash, of cherry actually. Cherry. This load. So, cherry, uh, cherry, cherry, cherry. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. So, when I first started doing the firewood, I, well, I live in an area in New Hampshire where a lot of people, a lot of people do firewood. It's a very competitive market. A lot of people do residential firewood in not a lot of people have kilns, and I noticed it was in our area, like Salem, New Hampshire area, Portsmouth, uh, I'm down on the seacoast, was a lot of restaurants were cooking with wood, and they were getting a product that was more so a product you'd buy for a wood, a wood stove, rather than like a uh, cooking oven, you know? Lar larger pieces. Larger pieces, yeah, stuff yeah. like that. So I thought in my head, hey, so I thought in my head, if I want to compete with the market in this area, which is really big in firewood, I'm going to have to do something that people aren't doing. And I thought, well, a lot of restaurants in this area are doing pizza ovens with wood. And I was like, I wonder what they're getting, if, they're, if they like their wood, if they are satisfied. Like, sometimes you get big chunks, you're not satisfied. Sometimes people order a cord, there's a ton of crap on the bottom of the, of the cord, and they don't want that. Why are they paying $600, $700 for a cord when it's not stacked, they don't know what they're getting, they don't know the species of wood. And uh, I said to myself, well, that's when I kind of was like, all right, I'm gonna call around for kilns and see what the kiln prices are. And I got some kiln prices. And then when I called the iDry, it was, <laughs> yeah. it was really a no brainer. I, 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 could, I could still have a very small business. I'm by myself and I could make things happen with the cost of the kiln and still be satisfied. And everyone's completely satisfied with the product, Yeah, you know? And you're custom cutting these pieces smaller, yeah. specifically for to turn uh, into charcoal quicker yes. in the wood ovens, which yes. they love. So this is a two and a half inch split. Yeah. I do. Um, think uh, Timberwolf. They have a two and a half inch box wedge, which I oh, awesome. So it's not like not a, a whole, ton of extra work. Yeah, maybe. they took a ton of extra work out of it. And for a long time, I was running like a five inch box wedge, and yeah. I would have to resplit all this wood. So they saved me big time. Awesome. But yeah, the smaller the wood, the easier the coal. That's how you want to cook your pizza. Yep. And anything you really cook, you cook it on the coal. You, the open fire isn't, isn't helping you. Yeah. You know, so you want that nice hot coal, and the more smaller pieces you put on, the quicker you get coals. Awesome. And we're gonna go visit one of the restaurants that Nick supplies to, and uh, check it out. So stay tuned. smaller split because when you put it in the oven the clay oven you get better coals faster you know you don't, yep. you have a big chunk of wood i don't think i really have any in here because they're all small yeah but like this is a big chunk this is a nice piece of cherry here mm -hmm. but you'll get coals quicker on this than if you have a big chunk in those ovens so since i've been doing these small splits yep i've been able to like just stay on top of it and they they love it and this is going into the wood oven to uh flatbread flat flat pizzas yeah cool Yep, and it's been working out in one, and I think we were trying it out at one, and now yep. they're talking about going to another one, and yeah, it's been great. It heats up real fast, it lights real fast. Consistent burn, Consistent I bet they burn. like. Yeah, there's no smoke. Yeah. You very rarely get any water sizzle out of it. And, and with a split this big, I can I can heat, I can dry this out in under like 48 hours. 48 hours. You let it season for a little bit, toss yeah, it, it in here. Yeah, it's a little sun. I like to get yeah. it with a little sun, be let the sun and mother nature do its job. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, I mean, I've done green right off the split in like 48 hours. Yeah. Just the cord, you know, I have a cord set up so it's kind of on both sides of the baffle there and mm -hmm. let the air just get around it. Awesome. But yeah, it works great. Awesome. It's my Alpha 6. I do mo I do all of my splitting on this. This is probably the, the best splitter I've ever used in my life. It has a two and a half inch box wedge on it, which I can cut all my flapper with. There's no 
there's no re-splitting on this. It, it's small enough that you get nice small chunks like that, yep. nice kindling, you know, but you do get some stuff like that. Nothing crazy. What That's it does, pretty reasonable. It, it brings the log in, splits the bottom half, the rest of the log stays on top of the slide, and it brings it back down into the chamber. And it's got a five inch piston on it. I think it's around 65,000 pounds of force with the Honda GX630 on it. And these guys are in upstate New York. And you probably, said great customer service. Oh, I, I'll call them the day of I'll break something, you know, because you, when you're out here, you break stuff. It's, it's yeah. inevitable when you're splitting wood. Yep. You call them and Ryan answers the phone. He's like, oh, what'd you break? And you go, oh, I broke this. All right, we'll send it out today. And awesome. No questions asked. There's no, oh my God, that never breaks. This never happens to our equipment. <laughs> no, so, they understand the business. They they split wood for a living. That's what they do. And yep. They know things happen out here. And yeah, we like to promote other companies that have the same theory of customer services off. So yeah, if you guys are in the uh, firewood processing business, the uh, Timberwolf. Yeah, beautiful. The Alpha 6. This is an Alpha 6. Alpha 6. Yep. Yeah, um, this is like their biggest commercial splitter they make. Awesome. Yeah. All right, let's... Maggie uh, loves it too. Maggie. <laughs> 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 This easy. One. There we go. We're drying firewood. <laughs> That's sweet, huh? Love it. Just like that. So basic, though. Yeah. There's nothing to it. Yeah. Turn it on and press the button. Walk away. Yeah, so we just got back, uh, saw Nick, saw his operation, uh, really cool. I mean, to reiterate, he was able to quit his stressful job as a pylon installer in the city of Boston because it was causing him stress and some health issues. 
And with three pieces of equipment, the tractor, the eye dry air, and this timber wolf wood processor, he's taking wood that he's getting for free from his tree service buddy. Uh, he went out and he solved an issue. He, he went to these places that were using cook wood and said, hey, what, what's the problem? And the kiln dried wood that they were getting was basically split for fireplaces. Now they'd get an eight inch piece sometimes and really the only it first inch to two inches is dry. And then once it gets to that center, it just kind of smolders. And with cooking stoves, I learned you want it to turn to charcoals pretty quick. So he ordered a two and a half inch splitting head from Timberwolf. Didn't have to change really anything with this process uh, besides that. And now he has a product that has been uh, custom designed for this market and he's getting a premium for it. So uh, just another great story from an iDry customer. That's what it's all about.